all right for those of you that prefer to read what i've just discussed in this uh in this vlog rather than watching then uh just head over to my website before you watch this video and uh read my post that i've posted there my website is this is kyle's life and you can click on the link in the description of this video to take you there and then you can read all about what i've just discussed in this and um thank you very much for watching and remember subscribe hit the bell for notifications so that you're alerted when i upload a video and then you can keep up to date with me in real time hey guys welcome back to another video uh, this video is basically um a response to some of the comments i got on my last update video um which you can see here uh you guys asked me to create a video sharing what i would have done differently um had I went back to the beginning of this journey in Scotland um, knowing what I know now and um, I think for me there's really only one thing that I would have done differently and that is um, making sure that I had a skill set before leaving Scotland um, so let me just explain what I mean by that um, so uh, I'm two years on and I'm still not working online um, at this present moment, I have, I'm probably about 30% through my online course in web development and, you know, I decided to take this course on the back of people recommending to take, recommending me to take this course for about two years now. <laughs> um, this course essentially helps me to learn everything you need to learn about web development and app development so just everything like online databases uh, coding in terms of html and css and javascript and mysql and um, ui and ux and app you know all that kind of stuff it goes through all that and i'm about 30 percent i think I think 30, 30 20 30 percent through or something like that at the moment and uh, essentially that's made me the reason the reason why I took that course was because I finally understood the unbelievably important need for me to have a skill because <laughs> all right so when 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 you're in a position where you um, where you are trying to strive for something it's very easy to be overly optimistic and you know create the path from a to b and so when i was in that position all i thought i would need to do was uh you know sell my stuff um you know get myself a laptop and a camera and everything and just document my journey and then when it comes to it, right, when it actually comes down to it, when you get to the other side of the world and you start to document your journey on YouTube, yes, people become interested, but then if you're not going anywhere, if you're not um, learning anything, and if you're not, you know, putting yourself in a position where you can constantly improve and get opportunities to work remotely, and online then you get to this plateau and you stop really going anywhere you're just staying in the same place and I got to that plateau and I realized then when I got to that plateau that fuck if I need to go any further if I want to get any better if I want to actually make the jump to working remotely then I'm gonna have to get myself a skill now you know that's the only way forward is to get yourself a skill and that's where I finally, after two years, decided to take this web development course. And um, it's fantastic. I never, I, I failed maths in school. I was not good at maths. I was not good at French. I was not good at languages and stuff. I wasn't very good at, uh, what else was I not good at? Geography. I wasn't really good at a lot of stuff in school and I really only did high school. I left when I was 17, so I'm not highly educated, so the thought of learning web development, learning something completely new, scared me because I just thought I was super incompetent in that, or incompetent, 
whatever the word is, incompetent or something. Um, I just, I, I just didn't really have much self confidence, and I didn't really want to. I didn't really see. I didn't really think about it actually. If I'm, if I really think about how I thought about it, I didn't really think about it. I just um, passively continued trying to break through with no skills and so learning web development I never thought I would be actually enjoy it and I actually do enjoy it learning web development is like learning a new language and like I said I wasn't good at maths I wasn't good at language in school and I've just discovered that that's completely irrelevant like those worries and those idealisms of web development they don't exist yes okay you have to put in the effort with web development and you have to really study to understand and learn a completely new language which is the language of the internet and it's really interesting and I absolutely really enjoy it and I enjoy learning the process um, and I know web development takes a lot of work I'm not I'm not being naive about this I know it's gonna take uh, a good amount of time before I'm in a place to apply to become uh, an online web uh, web developer remotely um, but essentially the whole point of this is the fact that I've started the next step and that is only just going to open new doors it's going to allow me to continue forward and hopefully by next year I'm going to be able to make the jump online and um, if I had done that in the beginning, I would have been online and a digital nomad by now. So now, uh, uh, now that I've started and now got to wait further, I've now got to look ahead for probably next year. Um, I've just been realistic here. I'm, not, I'm trying not to be optimistic as I was in the in the past. I'm being realistic, and ideally, I'm looking at the next six months of learning web development and then the next six months after that gaining hands-on experience through taking little jobs online completing them and um, building up my experience that way so I'm looking at about 12 months of learning and building up practical experience from now and um, yeah I think if I'm completely honest with you guys um, from off the top of my head right now this is the most important thing that I would have done in the beginning if I knew what I knew now I would have made sure that I had a skill because it's what people need people need you to have a skill so that you can complete those complex tasks online um, another thing that I built up uh, over the last two years actually is I've been acting like I work remotely um, so I um, if I'm not working or I'm not doing a travel experience I'll you know I'll, I'll kind of think of myself as a digital nomad I'll go to a cafe and I'll do some learning and I'll, I'll do my course and you know I'll, I'm, I'm developing the mindset of a digital nomad before I'm even a digital nomad and so by developing the mindset that way when it comes to actually working online for someone I know that I'm now I'm not gonna have the trouble of um, uh, self-motivation because you've got to be self-motivated to work online because there's nobody there to there's nobody behind you telling you to come on let's go keep going so by developing and improving how I work as a digital nomad through practice before I become one I will find it a lot easier to stay focused and complete the tasks that I do for other people when I do become a digital nomad. So um, yeah, so that's the second thing actually is, uh, you know, before you decide to go abroad and work remotely, just give it a try at home first and see if you are actually somebody that can keep your own self self-motivated um, to complete the task that you need to complete and um, that would be the second thing and the third thing would probably be um, have a financial backing behind you because I didn't have that when I first started either which meant I had to go straight into a 
a job really quickly. So it stole the time from me to focus on becoming a digital nomad because now I have to work for someone in retail or in some other job um, and that just takes time away from you um, and that uh, you start focusing on other things that are not really relevant to you as a digital nomad so um, developing a financial cushion before you go abroad is really important as well if you really want to um, uh, sustain sustain yourself while you're looking for work to become a digital nomad I think that's one of the things that I that I didn't do too well either um, so essentially um, those are the three things number one develop a skill set before you leave home number two is um, develop a mindset so that when you do um, you get a job online you're able to self-motivate yourself properly consistently to complete the task and thirdly um, is developing a financial cushion to sustain yourself until you find a job because it's super competitive out here and um, any other digital nomad starting out that you follow on YouTube um, they'll all tell you the same thing as well it's highly competitive and the, the wage is not very good in the beginning so you have to have a financial cushion to get you by until you get the practical experience enough so that somebody feels willing to pay you more because of your experience practical experience that you've built up with other people on other projects so those are the three things all right if you want to know anything else let me know down below in the comments and um, please if you have not subscribed to this channel I'm almost at a thousand so I'd love to get there if you could help me out with that that would be great and um, yeah just make sure you hit the bell next to it because when you hit the bell and I upload a video it, it will notify you if you don't hit the bell you don't get notified and then you probably won't know that I posted a video so um, yeah just do that that would be a fan dabby dozy uh, so I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching remember Leave a comment if you want to know anything else. Catch ya. But you know what though, there's, there's a lot of power in learning from your mistakes. I've realized that my mindset has always been to learn from my mistakes over learning from success. Um, not just my success, but other people's success as well. I tend to overlook that a little bit um, and I tend to focus on learning from my mistakes, which is good and bad. I mean, I mean, look at the, look at me. I've travelled for two years, and I've had plenty of experiences. I've travelled all down Australia's east coast. I've travelled um, in New Zealand's North Island. I've seen everything in New Zealand's North Island, including doing farm work for the first time. And now I'm in Canada, and I plan to, you know, start my web development and. It, it, it just it's like a snowball effect so don't let what I've told you stop you from acting against your own will you know your own gut feeling if you want to just go with no skills then go with no skills and learn from your mistakes if you're uh, if you're willing to do that but it's tough um, if you if you don't have any skills and you don't have a financial cushion and you, you don't have the right mindset then ultimately one of the few mistakes that I've learned from is having 72 cents to my name in Sydney and only just being saved um, I was broke as fuck and uh, it's definitely not cool um, if I don't have the right, right mindset I've, I've been in a couple of relationships as well while I've been traveling and uh, I stopped doing what I was focused on and pursued those relationships and they didn't work out and then that's just wasted my time and you know um, not having any skill set two years on and I'm still not a digital nomad and um, so if you're willing to not take my advice and still go with your gut feeling of just going and learning from your mistakes then just to let you know 
you will have a much harder time than you would if you just take the time at home to get yourself in, in a good good position for working online. Um, so that's basically the top tips. Don't let what I've said stop you though. Um, sometimes the most magical things that could ever happen in your life are the unexpected ones and the ones that you didn't plan for. So sometimes it is worth it just to leave, start a new life and learn as you go. Sometimes that's the best way but if you are just solely looking to work online and just really get straight into it, then my advice is just to take the time before you leave to do it. But if you're one person who just absolutely wants the thrill of learning and making mistakes in a completely new environment where you don't know anyone and you're trying to push yourself and grow and stay focused through absolutely the, an environment that is trying to take your focus and trying to make things difficult for you if you thrive in that environment then don't listen to what I've said in this film uh, or blog or whatever and just just go for it learn from your mistakes as you go just before you go let me know if you want to see even more videos like this if you do leave me a comment in the description of this video of what you would like me to talk about and I'll try my best to do it for you